In this episode of Derp Star, I refactored the Space Worm laser beam to use a viewport instead of changing the particle properties. Now it looks better, and it's more efficient. First, I'll be reworking the lightning particle effect on the Space Worm laser beam. Currently, I decrease the lifetime to shorten the effect when the beam splits, but this increases the particle density, so I have to decrease the amount as well. Unfortunately, this also resets the particle animation. I make sure to only change the amount and lifetime if the new length is different from the current, so the animation will play when the beam is fully extended. I think the effect is decent, and the deflected lightning still shifts because the start point is moving, but I think it's better to use a viewport instead. So I'll add a viewport to the beam node and set the size. 2000 by 60, then I'll move the particle emitters under the viewport. Now they're visible in the preview, but the lightning is offset, so I need to move both of these up by 30 pixels. So now it's within the viewport area and I want to enable transparent background as well. So now I can add a texture rect and set the texture to a viewport. And the lightning appears like so. By default, the texture rect cannot be smaller than the viewport. So I enable expand, set the stretch mode to keep. Then enable clip content to make the beam shorter as needed. I'll rename the texture rectangle. Then in the beam script, instead of setting the particle emitter properties, I'll set the texture rectangle size x equal to length. So now the lightning particles move forward at a constant rate, and it's probably more efficient to use the viewport than recalculating the particles every tick. Now currently, both beams have their own viewport, but ideally there would be a single viewport and each one would cut the remainder that it needs. Unfortunately, you can't set a starting offset with the texture rect, so I'll reset the expand stretch mode and clip content then change the texture to a atlas texture, set the atlas to the viewport, set the width and height for the full beam, and You can decrease the width to make the beam shorter in the atlas texture instead. Then in the region, 
I can change the x offset, which will move the rectangle along the beam. Then in the set length function, instead of setting the rectangle size, I'll set the texture region size dot x equal to length and I'll make a new function to set the particles offset. This will take an integer and I'll set the region position dot x equal the offset and I'll run it again just to make sure that everything still works. So now I can move the viewport from the beam area into the main laser scene. And I'll make the beam children editable for both. Then set the lightning texture to the viewport node. Then in the script, when I set the deflection length, I'll set the particle offset equal to the beam length. So now the segments show the correct part of the viewport texture it is kind of hard to tell though with the current particles so I'll reset the base color and make a new gradient for the color ramp for both the particles So now it starts at black and fades to white. So now it's a lot easier to see that the white is at the end. And the texture is correctly mapped. So that's all for this episode of Derp Star. Thank you for watching and have a great day.